All right, you guys. Well, next up, we're going to do a little contour and cheeks and lips. Okay. So quick and easy. I'm going to use my cheek brush, which I love the Mary Kay cheek brush. It has this nice little slant to it. So this corner right here is where I'm going to apply my contour. The flatter part is where I'm going to apply my cheek color. Okay. So I'm using Latte Contour. I'll show that to you in the book in just a second, but I'm going to get a little bit there on the tip of that brush. If you need to know where to put it, so suck your cheeks in mm -hmm, and see this little divot on the brush. You can actually hold your brush and feel where your finger is supposed to go. Okay. So I'm going to start at my hairline and in kind of like a, almost like a slight U shape. I'm just going to kind of bring that back and forth. Okay. We don't want a hard angle. There's no straight edges really. Okay. We want to just real soft. Okay. But what that does is it actually slenderizes your face, gives you more of the ideal oval shape, right? And it's lifting. I mean, who doesn't want to appear more lifted, right? So, all right, let's do the other side. So it's like a slight U shape. And you don't really want to go too far past your iris. The outer corner of your iris is about my stopping point, okay? Or you can even do two fingers from the corner of your nose. Now I'm going to apply Shy Blush, which is one of my absolute favorite blush colors. You're going to hold the brush, so where you've got the blush side, okay? We're going to hold it straight down from the corner of the eye. We're going to pop it on the cheek, and then we're going to blend it back and just blend it back, blend it back. Okay. All right. Blush just instantly makes you look brighter, healthier, makes you look like maybe you just got back from a beach vacation and you're a little flushed, or maybe you just exercised, right? Okay. So I got a little fuzzy there. All right. So straight down from the corner of the eye, and we're going to brush it back towards the hairline. Okay. All right, you guys love this color. The shy blush has a little bit, it's a pink, but it's got a little peach in it. It's got a hint of gold. So it acts as a natural highlighter. See, it kind of just makes my cheek shimmer just a smidge. Now it's not frosty. We want to stay away from frosty, especially if you have any kind of texture on your face, either large pores or some lines, which we need to get you on our time wise skincare if that's the case. <laughs> I've been using that product forever and I swear by it. It's amazing. Okay. So, and I'm in my 50s, you guys. So, the skincare, I am a walking advertisement for the skincare because I've been using it for the last 22 years and it's fantastic. All right. So, now I'm going to do a little bit of lip. And so, one of the first products I'm going to start out with is this age fighting lip primer. Love this product. You guys, just like the foundation primer, you put this on and you don't have to stay in the lines. There's no coloring inside the lines. You can just go all over. And what it does, I don't know if you can see like the little lines on my lip just kind of disappeared and this kind of seals everything. So it's going to keep your lip products on longer and it's also going to keep them from bleeding and feathering. Okay. So I'm going to do a nice um, lip liner in kind of a neutral color. This is beige nude. Okay. Our lip liners are fantastic. You guys, they're waterproof. So they stay on all day. I'm going to go slightly outside. I could be a ventriloquist. Check me out. I've been on the talk I thought, well, I blew it there. <laughs> I was doing really good. Okay, so we're just going to line the lip. Okay. And you can fudge this a little bit. You can kind of go outside of your natural lip line to give you a fuller look. Okay. All right, so once you outline the lip, now, I'm going to do little vertical lines and kind of fill in the lip. Like I said, this is waterproof. So it stays on. And here's a little trick that I learned, you guys. 
Okay, right here, do one heavy vertical line right there in the bottom center. This is going to give you kind of like this poofy, pouty look. Uh, anyway, I was channeling my inner Angelina Jolie, right? All right, so just kind of leave that sort of pouty there, right? Now I'm going to use my lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss, you guys. I'm just doing liner and lip gloss for a super easy look. I'm going to use Sheer Illusion right over top of this. To just kind of give me a really pretty natural look. Love the shimmer, love the shine. If you like a matte look, don't apply the lip gloss. Easy peasy. So I am going to do just, I'm going to take a little bit of that latte contour on my all over powder brush. And I'm going to add just a little bit more contour. So right here on the side of the forehead, this is going to kind of give me just a little bit of a sun kissed look, kind of give me a little bit of a glow. All right. So you don't want to do in this area. This is your highlight area. Okay. Do a little under the chin. Sound like I'm talking into a fan. So just kind of go around the perimeter, just to kind of give me a little glow. And that's it. That is your cheeks, lips, and color tips with a little bit of contour.